There are a few details in Tech Project 4 so you don't make mistakes. So we're going to simulate the central limit theorem. Um, that was the theorem talking about sample size for the means. So we're going to start with the population of NBA salary data. This is all the NBA players, so it's a population. You can see there's tons of data. We have their salary in millions of dollars. And what we're going to do is we're going to take samples and find the mean, just like that central limit theorem was talking about. So we'll start with size 10, sample size 10. So we'll go to data sample. Um, we're sampling salary, so we choose salary. Our sample size is 10, but we're repeating it a thousand times. And then if you hit compute, you've made a huge mistake. You'll notice you've created a thousand columns. Um, exit and start over. So if you create more than one column, you're going to start over. So I missed a step. So we'll go to data, sample, salary. We're doing sample size 10. We're creating a thousand samples, but we don't want the individual samples. We want the mean of each sample. So we're going to copy and paste this to calculate the mean of each sample. So we don't want to look at all 1,000 samples. We just want to look at the averages from each sample. So under Compute Statistic, we're going to tell it to calculate the mean of each sample. Copy and paste this. Um, if you do a lowercase s, it doesn't work. So just copy and paste it to make everything easy and click Compute. And you should only get a single column. And so this is saying one of my samples had an average of 2.7, the next sample had an average of 5.07, the next sample had this average, and yours will be different because these are random samples. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it samples, sample means n equals 10. You can just click on it and replace it. And that's because we're going to do more in a second. Um, so you're going to make a histogram. Yours will look different than mine. I'll just give you a preview of it, of the sample means, not the salary. We're looking at sample means. Uh, make sure you add a title. You can pick the appropriate title. And you get a histogram. Yours might look different than mine, but it should be similar. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to repeat this for size 20, and we're going to repeat this for size 100. So you're going to copy and paste this again. You're going to do data sample, salary, um, size 20, we'll still do a thousand of them, and we'll calculate the mean, compute, and I'll call this sample means, where n is 20, just to keep track, and then you'll do it again for 100. Sample size is 100, we'll still do a thousand of them, and make sure you compute that mean every single time. And I'll just rename this sample means n equals 100. And so what you'll do is you'll make a histogram for all three cases. Um, you'll answer the shape, right? What's the shape of each individual histogram? And then you'll go back to that central limit theorem and see if it agrees. So central limit theorem is a good place to look. Um, number two, the data is not into StatCrunch. So you can either just type it on the right or if you want to, um, you can go home and then just open a new window. And so you'll just type the data. So don't copy and paste it. Um, we want to type it in an individual column. So 321, like 321, 342, and so on. And make sure you add an appropriate title. So hopefully this gets everyone started. Um, part A, if you use chapter 9, it makes it a little bit easier to answer. But otherwise, the majority of the project is um, chapter 7 for number 1 and chapter 8 for number 2. So let me know if you have any questions.